Okay, friends. So this is the problem solving video on Euclid's division lemma. So let us see the, the problem here. It says show that n square minus 1 is divisible by 8 if n is an odd positive integer. So in such cases, first of all, let us understand what should be the approach. Approach should be first, first step is, step is read the question very carefully. This is one step where students tend to ignore uh, and they, in the hurry of solving the problems, they actually make a lot of silly mistakes. So one, what is that? Read the question, question thoroughly, question thoroughly. How do we do this? And this is, you know, uh, this particular uh, approach should be adopted in every problem solving thing you do, right? So how do I do? I usually find out the elements given in the question. So that what is the first element you encounter? So n square minus one is, then the next keyword is divisible by what? Eight, eight. And if n is an odd, another important thing, positive integer, so many facts, right? So n is an odd positive integer. The moment I hear the word odd, first thing which strikes my mind is if if a is odd, if a is odd, then if a is odd, then it can be expressed as either or only 2k plus 1, right? Why? Because 2k will be an even number. So a is of the form 2k plus 1. But whether this particular concept will help me or not, that depends on once we go to the next step. Next step is now try and understand what all underlying concepts will be used. So you have to prove that something is divisible by 8. When is something divisible by something, some number is divisible by 8? Some number is divisible by 8. When, if we divide it, your remainder is 0. Your remainder is 0. So you can, you can see that 8, 8, or you have to prove that 8 is a factor of, a factor of, a factor of n square minus 1. n square minus 1. This is what you have to establish where n is of the form where n is 2k plus 1. So there could be two approaches to solve again. So one is you take n as 2k plus 1 form or if you if you if you see like the same thing can be expressed as the same same any integer can also any odd integer for that matter can be expressed as 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 3 as well. Now you will ask why am I taking 4 here? Because to get a factor of 8, you can start with this also. Let's adopt both the both the techniques and see which one is better. So as you are exposed to multiple techniques, you will know which one to adopt. So let's say we will adopt these two. And how do I know that any odd integer is of the form of 4k plus 1 on 4k plus 3? Because any integer we just saw in the last lecture, you can visit in the last video and understand any integer can be expressed as 4k, 4k plus 1, 4k plus 2 and 4k plus 3. I cannot express it as 4k plus 4 because 4k plus 4 is as good as 4a. The remainder is 0, right? So hence, now clearly this is not an not an even, uh, not an even odd number. Why? Because there is, a, there, is a, there is a factor of 2 here. So it can be expressed as 2 into 2k. So hence, it is not an even number. Why? Because you know any integer multiplied by 2 is always an even number. This similarly has 2 as a factor. So 2k plus 1. So again, two times any integer, whatever it is, whether odd or even, will give you an even number only. So hence, only two possibilities left, this one and this one. So let us adopt both the method. Method number one, where we'll take up this, and method number two, where we'll take up this. Okay, and, in, and you can compare both of them. So let us first assume n is 2k plus one. So what can I do now? So n is, let's say 2k plus one, I am adopting method number one. n is 2k plus one. So n square minus one will be, Nothing but 2k plus 1 whole square, whole square minus 1, which is nothing but now you adopt this identity, which one? So I'm writing this identity a plus b whole square. You have learned this before is equal to a square plus twice of ab plus b square. So using this, let us expand this. So hence, what will you get? You will get 2k square plus 2 times 2k times 1 plus one square. This dot represents a multiplication sign. Don't get confused as a decimal sign here. And then minus one. Okay, this minus one comes here. Now what is this? Expand it. It is 4k square plus 4k. 4k. 
and 4k and then this one and this one gets cancelled so now you can take 4 as common in fact 4k as common and this is k plus 1 this is what it is so hence clearly n so if, if you can write what 4 divides this n square minus 1 how do i know that because you can see clearly there is a factor of 4 why it is a factor because k and k plus 1 k was an integer so k and k plus 1 will be an integer itself k times k plus 1 will be an integer so if 3 k was 3 so 3 into 4 will give you 12 k was 7 so 7 into 8 will give you 56 so all are um, integers isn't it now so hence clearly 4 divides and n square minus 1 but this was not the objective we have to prove that 8 divides n square minus 1 so how do i do it we again apply logic if you see these two numbers are consecutive numbers yes or no so if k is if k is 1 k plus 1 will be 2 if k is 2 k plus 1 will be 3 if k is 3 k plus 1 will be 4 so there are always two consecutive numbers if you see and this is the logic you'll apply what will you write you'll write k and k plus 1 are consecutive consecutive integers and in, in this case we are talking about positive integers because the question asks so so k and k, k plus 1 are consecutive integers and we know that one of one of any two two consecutive consecutive integers one of any two consecutive integers is always even how do i know that you can check how so let's say if k was odd then the next k plus 1 will be even so hence k plus 1 will be even and if k is even and k uh, so k is even then you know k is even anyways so if k is even then no problem if k is odd then k plus 1 will be even so in this case so k k k times k plus 1 will be n this is n this is equal to an even number why because 1 of k and k plus 1 is even so hence if you multiply any even number you will get an even num even number with any number you will get an even number so this is a even number and hence this can be expressed as 2 times let's say q where q is another integer q is another integer what is its value we don't require it we don't require it so another positive integer another positive integer because we are dealing with positive integers isn't it so hence what can i write n square n square minus 1 becomes now what 4 into k into k plus 1 right so 4 into k into k plus 1 now k plus 1 k into k i have found out 2q so it can be written as 4 into 2q so hence it is 8q right so 8 times an integer leads to n square minus 1 so hence 8 divides n square minus 1 hence proved okay let us see the other method where we consider we consider we this one which one this one case number two this one so let us try and understand through this so what would i do we would consider now here so let us say let us say n is of the form of 4k plus 1 in this case we will be having two cases so this is case a let's say and parallelly we'll do case b as well where n is of the form of 4k plus 3 now what is it so n square minus 1 will be again 4k plus 1 whole square minus 1 and here n square minus 1 will be 4k plus 3 whole square minus 1 okay Again, use the same identity a plus b whole square is a square plus twice a b plus b square. Expand it, it will give you 4k square plus 2 times 4k times 1 plus 1 square minus 1. And it will give you 4k square plus 2 times 4k times 3 plus 3 square minus 1. If you simplify this one, you will get what? 16k square plus 8k plus 0 plus 0 1 square minus 1 is 0 here it will you will get 16k square plus 
ट्वेंटी फोर के प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन माइनस वन इज एट इज इट सो इफ यू सी हियर डायरेक्टली यू कैन राइट एट इज कॉमन बिटवीन द टू टर्म्स सो इट इज टू के स्क्वायर एंड प्लस के आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन पुलिंग आउट के बिकॉज आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन शोइंग दैट एट इज अ फैक्टर सो यू कैन सी दिस आइटम टू के स्क्वायर प्लस वन के इज एन इंटीजर इज एन इंटीजर वाई बिकॉज यू हैव के एज एन इंटीजर सो के स्क्वायर विल बी एन इंटीजर एंड ट्वाइस ऑफ के स्क्वायर विल बी एन इंटीजर सो टू के स्क्वायर प्लस के इज एन इंटीजर सो हेंस वी कैन क्लियरली से एट डिवाइड्स एन स्क्वायर माइनस वन हेयर अगेन टेक एट कॉमन सो एट इज कॉमन अगेन सो यू कैन बाइड इट एज टू के स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री के प्लस वन अगेन दिस दिस आइटम दिस इज एन इंटीजर is an integer why because k is an integer k is an integer and hence 2k square plus 3k plus 1 has to be an integer so in both the cases i see that 8 divides what n square minus 1 hence proved okay so what is the learning you have to in such number theory questions or you know uh, what you need to do is you can you have to express uh, the divisor in the form of or any number the number which is in in uh, question in the form of uh, 2k plus 1 and minus 1 or four uh, sorry 2k plus 1 or 4k plus 1 and 4k plus 3 and then build your case and by mathematical manipulation mathematical simplification we got to know that we got to, we got to see that eight was indeed a factor and that was the objective if you see we set this objective right so we somehow will prove that eight is a factor here so here or 8 is a factor of n square 1 n square minus 1 so we we see we saw that in all cases 8 is a factor of n square minus 1 so you have to take care of what number of possibilities and each of the possibilities you have to show that yes um whatever is being asked for is valid so i hope you understood this question so uh, uh, let us take another problem to uh, solve or to understand euclid's division lemma application further more thanks a lot